We're back on Leading Edge. His name is DJ Swearingen. Uh, first term, Ohio House of Representatives, State Representative District 89. Boy, uh, here we sit here talk on these boxes here in this thing called Zoom, DJ. The pandemic has exposed the need to have high-speed internet connections. And in parts of Ohio, frankly, we just don't. You support House Bill, I think it's 13. But how do we expand that internet coverage without subsidizing the provider? If it was good business sense, the providers would already have done it. If they could make money, we're mm -hmm. going to try to get that internet out there. Who's going to pay for it? Yeah, it, it is going to come from taxpayer money. However, that it's realizing that internet is now an essential utility to some extent in the yeah. sense that we do business with the internet. We you know, conduct some schooling with the internet. People apply for jobs with the internet. You know, in, in my district, it's not uncommon to see a uh, dozen cars in the parking lot of the local library using their internet uh, and their Wi-Fi just to conduct essential business in their daily lives. So, you know, at one point, internet was almost looked at as a luxury, and now it's almost yeah. essential yeah. to conduct daily business, and yeah. we're realizing that in, in the My Ohio. public school district, Bowling Green City Schools, opening all on remote this fall, and let's face it, you went to BG, I went to BG, while students are back in town, a lot of them are doing the hybrid and doing the, the internet as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big, those who watch the show know, I'm a big vo ed, vocational education supporter from Penta to, to Owens. Um, but you tell me, and I'm intrigued by this, there's talk of vocational training in elementary school. What? Yeah. I mean, I see the fifth grader with the welder. And, and so help me, help, help me out with this. Where are we going? Yeah, I have, I have a bill to expose uh, the junior high students to vocational training and career readiness programs. Junior high. And junior high, yes. I'm sorry, junior high. Okay. And, um, you know, it, it, th these are options that I don't think our kids know are available to them. And those are good paying jobs. When you come out of high school, you get into an apprenticeship program, you know, whatever route you choose to take, a two-year credential, and they're good paying jobs. Uh, not every kid wants to or needs to go to college to be successful. If they want to pursue that, they can. But this bill introduces them to the trades uh, in the junior high. And if the school has this type of program, they're going to be um, incentivized to do it by a positive grade on their statewide report card. So it's not a required program, but for those schools who choose to go down this path, that we're, you know, we're going to reward them for doing that. So. All right. You just brought up something, statewide report card. Yep. Uh, isn't it true? There is a move in Columbus. This just struck me. Are we going to back off on state testing during this COVID school year? Where are we? Yeah, I, I think we will. You know, we, we do need to make sure there's some accountability there. However, right. uh, we, we need to realize, too, that schools are just such an unusual and difficult circumstance right now when yeah. it comes to uh, educating the kids. And we're, we're willing to take that into consideration and in, in measuring accountability standards moving forward. So I'm happy to support that effort. Uh, we've all gotten them, a bill, often a big one, uh, for a medical procedure we thought was covered. We didn't know it was coming our way. You say you want to end these, what you call surprise medical bills in Ohio. How would you do that? Yeah, so a surprise medical bill, for those who don't know and, and may have experienced, um, a surprise bill is something you get from a portion of your treatment or procedure where the provider was out of network. And usually the patient has no idea that this, this bill was coming. They thought everything was covered. And medical bills are responsible for a large number of bankruptcies, not only in Ohio, but nationwide. So what we're doing is requiring the provider you know, the doctors, the insurance companies to all work out the out of network coverage issue before the treatment or procedure uh, so that there's no surprise bill to the consumer on the back end. And I think this is going to be a great thing for Ohio. And I, I believe the medical community thinks it's going to be a great thing for Ohio as well. Uh, see, all this stuff that actually hits us where we live and sometimes it gets lost in the, you know, the scandal and stuff going on down there in Columbus. All right, here's, did I, did I save the best? Did I bury the lead? Let's go with it. Should the Big Ten play football this fall? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> You're right out there with that. <laughs> That's right. I look forward to it. You, you think, but I'm saying you wouldn't be, you're not, you're not condoning irresponsible behavior. We still have a pandemic. We don't have a vaccine. But boy, we want to, the Buckeyes, I think, would play for a national title. And I still think my Falcons are on the upswing. And I know they're That's not going to play this, this fall. That's right. I think, I think we'll be fine. You know, those are healthy students. Um, you know, they want to progress forward with their academics and their uh, athletic pursuits. And I think they can do that in a very healthy way. You know, we, we've obviously seen it be successful at the high school level. I think they can do it, too. Yeah, we are playing high school football. There's no doubt about that. We're going to leave it right there. My thanks to State Representative DJ Swearingen for keeping us on the leading edge of his state legislature, taking swings at our governor and their fellow Republican, but also 
updating us on other important issues facing our representatives as they speak for us down there in the state capitol. Uh, stay well. Family good? Family's good. Yep. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks. Yeah. When I come back, she started the new year with a brand new job in her hometown, Toledo City Council member. But did I mention that new year was and is 2020? Welcome to work and the leading edge, Katie Moline, next.